So today is a very exciting day. I have a special guest coming over, someone I've always wanted to meet, Caesar Milan with the Dog Whisperer. Diamond, are you ready to meet the Dog Whisperer? Hi everyone, my name is Cesar Milan, and what I do for a living is I help people connect, communicate so they can have the best relationship with all their pets. That's why I'm wearing my proud shirt. I'm a proud pet parent because I love all animals and I can connect, communicate, and have a relationship with all of them. So my name is Cesar Milan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful view. I love that. So, Rio loving it out here? Yeah. I think Rio is already making herself at home. She's like, I'm and in the jungle. Alfie, the chill already. <laughs> Betsa, come on. Come and meet Paris. Hi. You love Pomeranians. Oh, so. love. Right? What do you think? What do you think about Benson? I always want to ask Paris Hilton, what do you think about my dogs? They're what do you think hot. about them? They're hot. <laughs> yes. Everybody wants me to do the ch thing. Ch what I want from Paris is for her to do. They're hot. They're hot. That's it. I love it. And stylish. They're stylish, of course. Her hair is on fleek. Right? She's Coachella ready. What is she doing when she's doing that, you think? Uh, which part? This part when she like poses with her neck up. She does it all the time since she's a baby. Well, just to be, look bigger. Just to look bigger. Uh, yeah. I thought she was trying to copy my pose. <laughs> well, uh, well, that's for sure. I, I, they do do imitate. I go like this. They like do side pose. They so do. I was like, is she doing the Paris pose? They definitely imitate the oh owners. Gosh, Absolutely. So cute. For sure. Oh, there everyone yeah, is. There's the Pomeranian. <laughs> no, this is actually a, she's like, 16 years old. Oh, wow. We have a 17 year old chihuahua with us. I got her in Tokyo in Japan. Aww. Her name is Harajuku bitch. <laughs> and she was supposed to be a teacup chihuahua, but I think oh, she's- Oh, wow, you're right, you're right, it's a chihuahua. You're right, long hair. So she's Japanese. Yeah. I got to yes. I named her Harajuku bitch because Gwen Stefani had just came up with an album called mm. Harajuku Girls. Mm. And oh, yeah, she had like yeah. this Harajuku line. And yeah. I was in Harajuku shopping. Yeah. And then I saw her and just the pet store, the condition of it was just, I don't know, I just like felt like I needed to rescue yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. We rescued this one from the Malibu fire. And she thinks she's a dog. Yes. Yeah. She literally walks with everybody. Simon's like, what is What that? is, what, what kind of, uh, I don't know how you know. Mario. Even though the gods are crazy, even though the stars are blind, if you show me real love, baby, I'll show you love. So what, what? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? I never had a cat in my life. So what they say about dog people is real. We don't have cats. But maybe one day. I'm the cat whisperer. You are? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I don't understand cats. I just don't get them. He thinks he's a dog. Yeah. Because he grew up with all dogs. So oh. he's yeah, like, well look, everybody just love him. Is that a she or he? It's a boy. It's a boy. There's a girlfriend too named Munchkin. I don't know where she is. Oh, I love the tail. They all sleep in bed with me. All of them? All of them. And the belly is like that? Like a pot belly? This cat? Yeah, because it's... Just the legs are so short, I think it's hard for him to work out. I, I love the baby. He's smelling the cat. They're like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> that is a cat. So you have an advantage just by having a pack of dogs. Because Chilling. they just imitate. Yeah, they imitate. <laughs> but it's like when you do any visa, right? Like you play music and thousands of people are yeah. doing the same thing. Same thing, it's a pack. I love it. It's the power of the pack. You can invite him to the ranch. That's Alfie, you know him. And so we're all chilling and kicking it. And we're gonna help this one and this one and this one and everybody, we're gonna help him. But I think Rio is having a good time socializing. So I wanted to ask you some advice on Diamond Baby. Mm -hmm. Because she thinks she's human, mm -hmm. which she basically is to me. But she's also very entitled and spoiled and very bossy with the other dogs. Yeah. And um, I think because I take her everywhere with me, yeah. just on trips. If I go shopping during the day, she's the only one who comes with me. 
and now the other dogs are very jealous. So what, what do you think about um, when you're practicing the affection to the rest of the pack? It's normal, you know, when a dog comes back from uh, being with you by herself to claim, because they're claiming what they feel that belongs to them. Does she has any favorite food, any favorite treat that you like to give her? So that way you can redirect her while you're giving affection. So then the association is I, I eat my treat mm -hmm. while Paris is giving affection to the rest of the pack. And then what happens is that when the dog is inside your personal space, the other ones can come in. But yeah. if you ask her to go outside, then the other ones will come in. Then she will join in. And then if any other dog tries to come up to me and if I like pet the other dog, she'll bite them. Well, let's think about a larger treat, larger treat. So she actually stays a little bit more like a bone. Like Not a bone. like a bone, yeah, but the, the equivalent of a bone where they spend time. So you're redirecting the mind. So the mind is actually occupied doing that. So then the rest of the pack comes in. So instead of giving treats to the pack, you're giving your affection. That's the treat. So what do you like about animals? Why do you love them so much? What's inside of you that says, I have to love animals so much? Yeah, so I think it was just something like growing up, my father being such a huge animal lover and us always having so many pets that mm -hmm. I grew up with animals and it's always been a huge part of my life. And But do your whole family, do your brother and sister? Uh, Everyone loves level, animals. At the same level you do? Nikki my is family, a cat I'm girl. The crazy one. My sister, like she's had one dog and now she has two cats. Okay can't live without the animals. I, I tell people it's three energies, love, fear, and hate. So I, I like to help people who are afraid of dogs, but I also want to help people who dislike dogs as well, you know, because uh, I don't think you should live with fear or hate. What kind of exercises would you recommend for Diamond Baby? Well, you know, because her body's a little bit, and uh, I, I saw a little bit of her, her knees in the back there, and she's a little bit bald from the, from the back. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest a lot of walking on her, but definitely swimming. It helps a lot. It definitely helps a, a lot, and especially with little dogs. Listen, I, I done uh, a bucket and I put uh, puppies, so the puppies can just swim. Especially when I'm rehabilitating from barbell and things like that. She's like, Mom, <laughs> shopping is my cardio, <laughs> not swimming. Me. So this is the only one that goes she to a sushi, sushi place. Not sushi, but she she is the edamame. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, I have to show you a picture and a video of her, like, she's my partner. Loving the yeah. edamame. I, eat, I drink the sake, eat the sushi, and she eats the edamame right here. This, this is Malu. my date. This is my date right Your there. Hot oh, date. Date, my hot date. <laughs> thank you. Aww. I want to thank you, Caesar, so much for coming today. I thank had so you, much fun with you and your pack and my pack. Yeah. And I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And please like and subscribe to my channel and to Caesar's channel. Yep. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs>